Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use AWS Bedrock API with Python. I'll be using Boto3 library, which is from AWS, in order to get AWS Bedrock model information. Let's get started. On your screen, you can see that I already have a simple Boto3 Python script. In this one, I am importing few libraries and then getting information from Bedrock. There are two prerequisites for this. First, you need to have AWS CLI installed. So let me show you my AWS CLI version and make sure it is the latest updated one. Even uh, if you have updated it last week, it won't work. You need to update it today uh, as of uh, the date is today, um, 29th of September, 2023, because AWS Bedrock became public just yesterday. So you need to not only update your AWS CLI, but you also need to update your Boto3. Let me also quickly show you the Boto3 version, which I'm using. My version is 1.28.57. So you need to be at least this Boto3 version, or you need to be above it. If you don't know how to do it, I have another video where I describe how, how to update it, and I will drop the link in video description. Okay, so now we have both of the prerequisites met, and I will assume that you already have your AWS credential set up for your AWS account. Cool. Let me review the code for you. The first two lines are just importing the Boto3 and JSON library, and then on line number four, I am getting the Boto3 client and I'm giving it the service name Bedrock. And as this service is right now available in few regions, um, so I'm just specifying US East 1 Virginia region where this service is available for sure. And then I'm calling the list foundation model function uh, from this Bedrock client, which I have just got from Boto3.client. And then I'm getting the model name and then what is the input for this model, output for this model, and who is the provider of this model, as you can see here. And I'm also just flattening this list because this input modality is written a list in Python, and I am just uh, flattening it with the help of this join function. Let me quickly run it to show you how it works. So pi test bed. Let's wait. So. Let me make it a bit bigger. So you can see that what it has written is that these are all the models supported by Bedrock at the moment. For instance, it is supporting tech, Titan text large, which is an AWS model. The input is text, output is also text, and provider is Amazon. And then similarly, for example, there is a diff stable diffusion Excel model. The input you can give to this model it could be text or could be image, and then you could, the output will always be image and provider is stability AI. So this is how you use AWS Bedrock Service API within Boto3. I hope that this was useful. If you are getting any errors or if you are struggling with it, please share it in the comment and I'll be happy to help out. And if you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you very much.